Also, this story, an 11-year-old safe at home after being reported missing for several hours overnight. But the boy has a lot of explaining to do after police say he stole his grandmother's car and took his buddies on a joyride through Oceanside. Yeah, a clerk at that gas station called police after noticing a car full of kids but no adults. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is in Oceanside with surveillance video showing the kids stopping to fill the car up with gas. The kids stopped to fill up the car with gas with the 11 year old behind the wheel and that's exactly what got them caught. The car is now back home here at grandma's house and police thank the clerk for putting an end to this before things got worse. The clerk certainly, you know, did a great job, you know, in, in, noti in noticing what was going on, that they appeared to be young and then and then call into the department and let us know. Surveillance video from the Shell station on Douglas Drive shows the car pull up to a gas pump. We've blurred the clerk to keep their identity anonymous. A friend gets out and goes inside to pay for gas. Then they start filling up. The 11 year old who police say stole the grandmother's car is the one wearing a hat. He hops out of the driver's seat, but the clerk gets suspicious and decides to check the car. They notice several minors inside and it's just not adding up. A car full of kids at one o'clock in the morning and no adults nearby. So the clerk calls police. Police check the surveillance video. They get the license plate number and call the registered owner, which is the boy's grandmother. Turns out she didn't even know the boy or her car were missing. The last time she saw him was at 10 last night. After several hours of searching, police find the boy and the car in front of a home near Libby Lake Park. Fortunately, he didn't get into a crash or you know create any other property damage, so could have been a whole lot worse. Police say although the boy broke several laws, he won't be facing any charges this time. They're going to let grandma handle the consequences. Reporting in Oceanside, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.